Tis the season for spooky films. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horror movies to get excited about this Halloween. For this list, we're looking at films being released on, in the lead up to, or shortly after Halloween 2019. If it's on this list, it is a perfectly spooky or maybe even downright terrifying movie for the occasion. Just the sort of film that you need to get into the holiday mood. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out Sound Mojo's latest artist, Cultural Vultures. Find the link in the description below. To catch Number 10, Fractured, release date, October 11th, 2019. I'd like to do a CAT scan. Daddy's gonna take care of us. I'm gonna wait right here for you when you get out. With a director and producer known for projects in the horror and thriller genres like The Machinist and Session 9, this Netflix original film certainly has a lot of potential right out of the gate. Add to this a cast that includes Sam Worthington of Avatar and Terminator Salvation fame, as well as the Tony Award-nominated actress Lily Rabe, who's also on American Horror Story, and you can certainly call us intrigued. Fractured is a psychological thriller that follows Ray Monroe's search for his wife and injured daughter after he checks them into a hospital and they're nowhere to be found. Where are they? Who's behind all this? We will all have to tune into Netflix in October to find out. You saw my little girl. You treated her own. All I've got to go on is your word that they were here at all. Things are making them up. Number 9. Girl on the Third Floor. Release date, October 25th, 2019. Wanna help me? Nope. After racking up lots of critical praise at film festivals earlier in 2019, this horror flick by writer-director Travis Stevens is one highly anticipated movie. But those reviews, which sit at 93% on Rotten Tomatoes at the end of September 2019, aren't the only things this film has going for it. It also happens to star ex-professional wrestler CM Punk in the lead role. Credited under his real name, Phil Brooks, the mixed martial artist makes his acting debut as a husband who buys a house for him and his expecting wife. But his new purchase unfortunately comes with a whole lot of unwanted baggage. With creepy supernatural elements and amazing practical effects, this is one haunted house story that we can't wait to see unfold. You want my advice? Get your husband and your baby far away from that house. Number 8. Satanic Panic. Release date, September 6th, 2019. Are you ready to fully commit yourself to Satan? Yes! Honestly, with a title like that, do we really need to say more? Anyone who's likely to enjoy a film named Satanic Panic will already be sold based on the title alone. The movie follows a pizza delivery girl who gets way more than she bargained for when her customers turn out to be a gang of high-class Satanists. Instead of an appropriate monetary tip as a thank you for her service, our heroine finds herself drugged and kidnapped to be served up as a virgin sacrifice. My mom and her butt buddies are booty calling Baphomet. And they're not going to stop until you're strapped to a barbed wire altar. That's bonkers. The film is a whole lot of fun, leaning heavily into the camp and kitsch of old school B-movies, but elevated by committed over-the-top performances and a razor-sharp script. Get that mean lady! <laughs> I'm sorry! Number 7, Three from Hell. Release date, September 16th, 2019. The search for the fugitives known as the Devil's Rejects resulted in a violent clash with police. Musician, filmmaker, and horror icon Rob Zombie made his directorial debut in 2003 with House of a Thousand Corpses. In 2005, he continued the harrowing story of Captain Spaulding, Otis Driftwood, and Baby Firefly with a sequel, The Devil's Rejects. Neither film fared particularly well with critics, but they've nonetheless become minor classics of horror cinema with a devoted cult following. I love it. Like that. And so it is with great enthusiasm that we welcome the return of this devilish trio nearly 15 years after we last saw them. Hello, America. Did you miss me? From the looks of the trailer, time hasn't done much to temper their madness, violent tendencies, or maniacal bloodlust. And fans wouldn't have it any other way. Consider yourself warned, this film is strictly intended for gore hounds, be it Halloween or not. Three from hell. Number 6, Little Monsters. Release date, October 8th, 2019, Limited, and October 11th, 2019, Hulu. What is it, Miss Caroline? 
we wouldn't call Lupita Nyong'o a scream queen. She's making a huge impact in Hollywood across a wide variety of films. That being said, considering her inspired performance in Jordan Peele's Us earlier in 2019, there is no denying that she's one of the most exciting stars operating in the horror genre, a status further cemented by her role in this film. My job is to keep you safe. Stay here until I get back. In Little Monsters, which bears no relation to the 1989 film by the same name, Nyang Oh plays Miss Caroline, a children's teacher who must get creative when her class field trip is interrupted by a zombie invasion. Who remembers how to play tag? Well, those funny looking people out there are it. <laughs> An action horror comedy firing on all cylinders, Little Monsters is a lot of fun. It's actually scheduled to be released as a double bill with The Lodge. Ew, what's that? Oh, I got caught in the middle of a jam fight. Don't taste it, okay? Number 5. In the Tall Grass. Release date, October 4th, 2019. I'm never gonna find her. <laughs> you can find things. But it's easier once they're dead. Patrick Wilson has made quite the name for himself in the 2010s starring in horror flicks, whether they be of the supernatural, comedy, or drama variety. In this Canadian horror drama, Wilson leads a cast that sees two siblings lured into the titular field of tall grass after hearing a young boy calling out for help. Of course, things go incredibly awry, and Becky and Cal must soon find a way to rescue themselves from whatever else may be out there in Kansas with them. Not only is this Netflix original directed by Vincenzo Natale, the man behind cult sci-fi horror film Cube, but it's also adapted from a 2012 novella written by Stephen King and his son Joe Hill. What more can we ask for? It's just grass. Number 4. The Lighthouse. Release date, October 18th, 2019. What's a timberman want with being a wiki? Just looking to earn a living. Just like any man. Starting new. On the run. This is not your typical horror film. As anyone who saw director Robert Eggers' previous film, The Witch will attest, he is big on mood and atmosphere, putting the audience on edge early and keeping them there for pretty much the whole film. With The Lighthouse, which stars Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson, it looks as if he's pushing those inclinations to the extreme. Keeping secrets, are you? No, sir. Shot in black and white, the film follows two lighthouse keepers as they struggle with isolation, living in close quarters, and various psychological fears and torments. It's already being heralded as a masterpiece, so if you're looking for something a little weird this Halloween, this is it. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. Number 3. It Chapter 2. Release date, September 6, 2019. Something happens to you when you leave this town. The farther away, the hazier it all gets. With the first installment, director Andy Muschietti delivered one of the best mainstream horror films in recent memory. Critics loved it, fans saw it multiple times in theaters, and it went on to smash a number of box office records. To the losers. We made an oath. The film managed to deliver the scares, an inspired, updated take on Pennywise the Clown, and most crucially, a cast that audiences really connected with. Hello. Now those characters are all grown up, and the actors bringing them to life feel perfectly cast once again. The sequel sees the Losers Club returning to Derry to face the childhood horrors they'd rather forget. We need to finish it. Muschietti promises a film that continues the emotional journey while drastically upping the scares. Sounds like a recipe for a perfect Halloween movie night. <laughs> Number 2. Zombieland Double Tap. Release date, October 18th, 2019. Welcome to Zombieland. Life is about more than just survival. Speaking of sequels long in the making, who's ready to catch up with Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rock? It's been a decade since we last saw them, and as Abigail Breslin's character reminds us, a lot has changed during that time. Merry Christmas! What would you like, little girl? I'd really like for you to stop calling me little girl. Then again, some things don't. While we'll be seeing evolved zombies and some new faces, the dynamic between our core foursome seems every bit as snarky, dysfunctional, and begrudgingly loving as we remember. Whipsy, I forgot the seatbelt rule. Oh, so she knows the rules? I told her just a few of them. This sequel suffered in development hell for way too long, but it does seem fitting that it finally managed to crawl its way out just in time for Halloween. 
From the trailer, the film looks committed to making up for lost time with twice the action, comedy, and zombie fun. Start talking. You first. Well, my name's Tallahassee. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Dr. Sleep Release date, November 8, 2019 When Stephen King finally released a long-awaited sequel to his 1977 novel The Shining with 2013's Dr. Sleep, it was only a matter of time until it got the film treatment. Of course, it doesn't hurt that the movie adaptation of The Shining, which King famously hated, is today considered one of the greatest horror movies ever made. I don't know about magic. I... I always called it The Shining. Dr. Sleep catches up with Danny Torrance, now middle-aged but still struggling to lead a normal life after the traumatic events of his childhood. When I was a kid, I bumped into these things. When he encounters a young girl who shares his gifts, he's forced to face his past and the implications of his abilities. I only met two or three people like us. They died. Directed by Mike Flanagan, who gave us the excellent series The Haunting of Hill House, Dr. Sleep seems primed for success. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.